Dad, I'm doing some things. Go for it. <laughs> I need a glow up to help me. I'll help you. Episode 14, Homemade Barometer. So a lot of the experiments I've shared so far have to do with air pressure, and I thought it would be very interesting to make an instrument that measures air pressure called a barometer. And I'm actually going to make two of them here because I know everyone has different materials available to them at home. But what you're going to need for this is a glass jar or an empty can, some plastic straws or wooden coffee stirs, a rubber band, a latex glove or a balloon, cardboard or paper for making a gauge, and then scissors, tape, glue, and a straight edge. I also ended up using clothes pins, a pencil, a pen, some markers, and a journal for keeping track of my observations. I'm starting out here by making the lever arms for the barometer. And the longer they are, the more accurate and more of a difference you're going to be able to see in pressure reading. So I took two coffee stirrers and stuck them together, and then I did the same with the straws. And for the straws, I just uh, I cut a little slit in one end, and that allowed me to kind of fold it over and stick it inside of the other straw. For the coffee stirrers, I just used regular white glue. And then I took my latex glove, and I cut a semicircle or half circle out of the palm area and unfolded. This is kind of an oval shape. And I took that and stretched it over the top of my jar. And then using one of my rubber bands, I just secured it on there and pulled it nice and tight so that it didn't have any creases in the top kind of like the top of a drum or something like that. And the next step here is to glue on one of my lever arms. For this one, I used the straw. And I thought, you know, most people maybe don't have access to super glue or different types of glue. And hopefully you do have some white glue at home. One thing you're going to need to do if you use white glue is let it dry for about 24 hours. So I ended up leaving these overnight. And for the second barometer, it's really identical. All these parts are pretty much interchangeable. I used the balloon on top of the can, uh, again, a rubber band to secure it. And then in this case, I used the coffee stirrers to uh, make the lever arm of the barometer. I also used some clothespins to hold it together while I was drying, and that way I could get all the gluing done and, and set for the night. I came back the next day, and the glue had stuck. I was a little surprised, but it does work. And here what I'm doing is just making my gauges. And basically what I did is just marked off every eighth of an inch. And in the center, that's going to be kind of our baseline pressure, whatever it is when we first start. And then I made marks going either way so that we can see when the pressure either goes up or down from our initial, again, baseline starting pressure. Then I went ahead and looked up the current air pressure in my area and wrote that down in the center of the gauge. It was 30.06 inches, which is just above standard atmospheric pressure. And so from there, I found a good spot in my house where I could set these where they're not exposed to direct sunlight and you have kind of a clear view of your gauge. So you just want to line up your lever arm with the center of your gauge. And from here, uh, you're going to watch for basically any changes. Now let's take a look at how these work. The motion science! So we have our can or jar and it's full of air and we use the balloon to seal off the air inside. So immediately after you do this, the air pressure inside is the same as the air pressure outside and so the lever arm sits parallel with the horizon. If the air pressure outside the can increases, it's going to press harder against the balloon than the air pushing from the inside. A force pushing one way harder than the opposite direction is going to cause motion. And we see this as a depression in the balloon. As the balloon depresses, the lever arm raises on the gauge, indicating higher pressure, which is usually a predictor of clearer skies and warmer weather. When the opposite happens, the air pressure outside drops lower than the pressure inside the can, the balloon bulges out, tipping the lever arm down. A decrease in air pressure is a common predictor of stormier, less fair weather to come. After a day, I did have a change in pressure. It looks like lower pressure here. And it was on both of my barometers, so that's good that both of them are reading the same. And I went ahead and took note of this in my journal, and I'm just going to keep track over the next uh, weeks and months and see how accurate this barometer is. I hope you have fun with this, and thanks again to my family for helping me out. Let me know how your barometer goes.